Hello there, this is Osa with a new scrapbook process video. And uh, today I'm making a layout with another window photo from 2014. Uh, this time it is a photo taken from um, the inside, uh, looking out and especially looking at the wonderful star that we have in the window by our crafting table in the living room. And in front of the uh, star you can see a nice big ball of uh, oranges. <laughs> so it's a really sweet and warm Christmas photo and uh, you can see that it's snow outdoors. We just recently got snow, the first snow of this uh, winter. And uh, we have actually really cold weather right now. It's been minus 20 degrees Celsius and uh, that's quite a lot <laughs> and uh, we have been staying indoors. Uh, the kids just went um, so sledding some uh, yesterday and uh, it was lots of fun but it is a bit cold <laughs> so you you don't want to be outdoors too, for too long. Uh, last winter we didn't get uh, that much snow either but uh, during Christmas we, we had uh, snow and uh, I don't think that we shoveled snow more than perhaps twice during the whole Chris uh, during the whole winter and uh, we have done it once <laughs> this this winter so uh, we are getting um, not that much snow here by the coast it's a lot more snow in the inland of Sweden and further north of course uh, I am working again with the Cozy Christmas collection from Simple Stories and this time I am also working on a craft background but I won't uh, be doing any uh, mixed media or any modeling paste on this one and I am going more towards the uh, wood grain kind of beige um, glowing goldish <laughs> tones this time with these lovely bouquet of effect um, papers and the wood grain ones. I have a really sweet couple of uh, those uh, two by two cards uh, which spelled out joy and I thought that was really going very well with these um, colors that I'd chosen so I want to use that as my title for this page. And uh, since there were both stars on snow in the photo, I thought those lovely snowflakes uh, on wood grain would do very well uh, as a background for the photo. So this is pretty much what I'll be working with. Right now, over in Anaheim in California, uh, there this huge, huge uh, craft uh, fair and uh, CHA. And I have, like I guess most of you, been watching all the sneak peeks that they have been uh, uh, publishing online from the different companies. And uh, I'm happy to say that I'm not that fond of uh, everything. <laughs> I, I can even say that I haven't found many collections that I would like to have or play with. Uh, but I have of course found a couple. And I want to mention two, because they are right up my alley, and uh, they are both uh, nautical, kind of marine, uh, in coast, boat, uh, in their, uh, like, the, the symbols that they carry, and they are from My Mind's Eye and uh, Cartabella. The collection from My Mind's Eye is called By the Sea, and the Cartabella one is called Yacht Club. and. Uh, I must get my hands on those. They have really sweet stencils and uh, ephemera packs and the papers are really fresh I must say. The Cartabella Yacht Club is it's a, a unusual mix of uh, white and uh, a cream and I, I think that would be really fun to work with. It's uh, something that I haven't seen <laughs> in, in quite a while at least. And the uh, by the sea collection by my mind's eye, it is um, <coughs> it has some elements that I recognize from before, but th th it's a really fresh take uh, on the whole uh, by the sea uh, coastal uh, nautical uh, theme. 
So those I will be looking forward to playing with when uh, I make my next purchase, uh, which will be around summer. I guess those won't be released until mid-spring or something like that, so I will have to wait anyway, so, so that's okay with me. I, I don't think that I will have problems finding those collections later on. I have also been looking a bit l uh, on, on the uh, more like the mixed media stuff because I, I'm always curious, curious about what people <laughs> want to play with when it comes to color and media and uh, medium and uh, it seems like a bit of fun stuff is, is going to happen in the industry and uh, I've been following lots of the companies on, on Facebook and I have seen the preparations for the, the for the fair, and um, it, it's been fun. I really the the industry interests me a lot because I I, I have never really followed fashion in in clothes and and so, but uh, in scrapbooking I find it very interesting to to keep up to date with what's in and what's uh, new, and uh, I'm not that f um, that particularly. Um, I don't think it's important what's out, but I think it's interesting to know what's in. <laughs> that, that's more uh, like interesting to me. I happened to uh, come across uh, just a, I think it was kind of a, uh, like a message board in one of the, the more like the hip uh, or the uh, trendy uh, gangs online and uh, they were making fun of Bow Bunny, the company that has been making papers for, like forever and I I was really upset about it. I, I couldn't really understand why they wanted to make fun of the papers and of the people that wanted to use them and uh, that it made me sad that there are like these uh, cool kids in the <laughs> in the scrapbooking world that thinks that some brands are for newbies and people that are not cool. <laughs> I I think it's kind of stupid, really. I'm I always think that there's something interesting with uh, all the brands and. Uh, Perhaps they don't fit my style, but I don't make fun of them. Uh, but um, that's uh, that's kind of scary that some people want to just point their finger at brands and uh, people uh, that are not <laughs> just like published in the, the on the blogs and in the design teams. It made me sad to read those lines, and I think that I have been—I would have been better off not reading it. But I kind of just stumbled on, on the up on the the discussion when I was looking for something other uh, else, and um, it, it stayed with me because I, I didn't realize that, or of course I realized, but I, I had forgotten that those those people are around, and. Um, I, I hope that I never uh, say something bad <laughs> about uh, other people's styles because that's not something that I would want to do because I, I think that's really rude and uh, not very supportive of the, the craft and the, the wonderful hobby that we share. So, yeah. I just wanted to, to tell you <laughs> that I, I'm against pointing fingers at uh, styles that are not uh, hip at the moment or, or uh, cool. <laughs> I think that is uh, for the bad kids, not the cool kids, or the, not the, the kids that I want to hang with. <laughs> uh, back to the layout. I have embellished this uh, small page with some die cuts ho 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 and some snowflakes from the die cut pack i have also uh, sprinkled some uh, homemade enamel dots those are made from pearler beads 
and in white and the more transparent uh, white one. Uh, and I've tried to make them to a diagonal across the photo block. On the same diagonal I've also placed a couple of small bows and some really tiny uh, wood um, die cuts that also came in the embellishment pack. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon again. Take care, this is Osa. Bye!